I actually looked it up online to see what the dictionary uh, said about lobbying, and I sort of now get why you wanted to interview me. <laughs> Um, I really, the one word that comes to my mind when I think about what I do every day is just advocacy. To succeed in this industry, I think you need several things. You need to, to a certain extent, have a little bit of thick skin. You need to be creative. You need to be confident. People would describe me sometimes as, I think, abrasive. She'll tell you exactly what she thinks. I think I have that, what do they call it? Can I say this? Resting bitch face. So when I'm not smiling, I look really mad. I've had that several times. I can read a situation very well. I can read a room. I can tell when, if we're meeting with a staffer and my client is talking way over their head, I say, dumb it down. Can you dumb it down? I can tell in a client meeting if I'm talking too much or if they're looking for more ideas. I, I can read that very well. And I think women in general are better at doing that. There's a difference between being confident and having a giant ego. And I think to succeed in this world, you have to be confident. I have to offer ideas, otherwise why would I waste a seat in the meeting? And they wouldn't want me to waste a seat in the meeting. <laughs>